Ben, tell me a little bit about what you guys are building. What problem are you solving? Absolutely. So we're building a platform called Overview. Um, Overview, we've pivoted quite a bit over the past few months, but at the moment we're building a sales enablement platform. So it's really based around helping cold calling teams improve their rep performance, first and foremost, by analyzing what the best reps are doing well, what the worst reps are doing wrong, and how to bridge the gap, the gap between the two. On top of that as well, we have an AI cold call coaching platform. So this will integrate, this can be done standalone. So if you just want to sign up and have a go without any previous context, you can do that and just practice on the phone. First time dialers, it's really nerve wracking. So it helps to kind of get rid of those nerves. But also this can integrate with your dialer as well. So say you've got a sales team of 10 people and Sarah on your team, she's struggling with pricing objections, timing objections. The AI cold call coaching system would dynamically uh, learn and adjust to whatever she's struggling with. So she can practice with uh, what she's struggling with without having to risk pipeline on the phone. So yeah. Okay, and Jack, you're head of sales. Have you had some um, sort of implementation in training the model in, in, with your knowledge and experience? Yeah, 100%. So I'm not actually traditionally from a sales background. Mm. I used to do cold, uh, send cold emails as a service, and I've actually been learning cold calls myself for overview, which when we used to be an email tool, we pivoted into this, and it's been really helpful for me like as I've been learning that process and figuring out how can we train the bot to help me because if it can help me go from zero to be able to make sales and calls like I think it that then is going to make a really useful tool from for anyone from someone who has no experience to maybe a sales team that want to practice objections or testing a new script or even like we've heard today a use case could be you're doing interviews with other salespeople and then using that to identify like are they good or are they not. I saw some people trying it out earlier doing a, like a startup sales pitch and the, the AI voice talking back to them sounded like he was from the Bronx or something. Yeah. Do you have different personas on, on who is the AI agent talking back? So at the moment, no, we just like our main focus at the moment is getting the voice to seem really realistic and really human. So it just so happens that the guy from the Bronx, Pete Mitchell, um, he's the most realistic and, and dynamic voice, just had like, like breathing, giving arms and stuff like that. But as time goes on, there'll be a lot of different personas. We're trying to really gamify this. So you'll have maybe a campaign type progression where you'll start off with an easy prospect and it will gradually progress, becoming harder and harder. And again, this should all be based on your company's actual uh, company data. So it wouldn't be selling random stuff. It'd be very much much tailored to whatever your company's selling and the kind of prospects you sell to as well. Um, and you'd level up, so starting at level one, like a traditional video game, you go through, you get experience points for closing objections, closing demos, etc. And then just to keep them engaged, that's sort of another layer of fun and uh, engagement on top as well. So, Really fun way of gamifying the training experience. Absolutely, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the tech stack behind it? Uh, of course. I mean, yeah, we have uh, just a sort of a standard React front end. Um, our, our back end is a mixture of uh, C Sharp and Python, and we are running on Microsoft uh, Azure. We also use um, Gemini from Google um, to uh, power a lot of the uh, text generation. Um, in terms of the uh, the voice and how that sounds, we are using uh, Vapi to sort of orchestrate um, and tie all of the di bit different bits and pieces together. Um, uh, yeah, we're using various different transcription services um, and yeah, different voices. Um, and then of course, uh, Stripe to, uh, to get money in. Um, but yeah, that is uh, that's the text that we are using. And is it a subscription-based model or a usage-based billing? Like what's the Stripe payment model that you've implemented? So, so currently it is a subscription-based um, service. So you might get a specific number of minutes um, that you can talk to the bot for. Uh, but we are currently, well, we will be looking into the sort of uh, usage-based um, as well and just see how that can uh, tie in together as well. Okay. Yeah. And can you tell us as founders about some of the, the challenges or maybe the misconceptions or mistakes that you made as you were setting up? For sure. Um, so we started back in November last year, so in November 2024, and I described to some of the other founders, it's been very much like a pinball machine, So, which I think is the way to go. You know, we initially started out in cold email, cold email analysis, trying to help teams identify who they, what they should say to different personas. Quickly learned after speaking to customers that there wasn't that much interest as always the, the time to value was about 10 hours and then they'd be like okay i guess that's kind of cool and equally we weren't using our own products we were sending cold emails and we weren't using our own systems so i think the lesson is there that first and foremost if you're not using your own product and you can use it there's probably a problem there whereas now 
And on top of that as well, speaking to customers, I mean, Jack's been very much uh, taking the charge in that, but just really being close to the source, understanding what are their pains and trying to really understand how we can solve that for them. So now I think we're in a great position as much as we haven't launched this quite yet. We're using it. We're getting value from it ourselves. And again, just it, the time to value so quick, as you've seen today, people using it, demoing it. They're able to get in in about 10 seconds and just start experiencing the platform. So, yeah, that would be my advice and, and, and pivot quickly. What was uh, the kind of aha moment when you realized that this could be a real business? Um, I think you're pretty best to answer that in terms of when we pivoted. Yeah, so we were trying to sell the email analytics time and time again, obviously dealing with the same salespeople and sales orgs that we're dealing with now. And the conversations and doors just weren't opening. People weren't getting it. And if they were getting it, it was cool and you know, they wouldn't pay. And through having those conversations, the thing that was always coming up was like, hey, how do we be better at training? Can we use this for cold calls? Can we, and then through having those conversations and understanding why they need training, we kind of figured out like a lot of training is almost non-existent in cold calling or, or at least it's very one-to-one -one human based. Mm -hmm which can be kind of awkward, it can be difficult, and then figuring out like what to train them on is really difficult. So that kind of became like that light bulb moment where I came into the office and I kind of figured like we should at least investigate some kind of system that ties all this together and we can have this kind of automated figuring out what reps struggle with and then giving them a place to practice where they don't need to have a one-to-one -one with someone else. So how does the business um, load into the system what they want their team to practice or what like what their business um, case needs to be how, how does how do you customize it for each business yeah so well um, it'd be uh, two two ways really um, if we wanted it to sort of analyze all of their existing uh, data and how their, their reps might be handling objections we integrate with various different um, dialers um, from there, we can like pull in existing cold calls and you know see who's been doing, um, who's been handling objections well and who hasn't. When it turn, when it comes down to the actual um, AI role play, um, we'll be able to sort of um, the user will be able to specify a sort of uh, their you know ideal customer profile, um, and basically just just from there you know create you know, who they want to be selling to and just yeah very simply just be able to um, create an AI role play bot just based on a simple profile. Okay, and where can people go to try it out and to learn more about it? Well, we're actually running a competition at the moment. Don't know when this will be out, but uh, um, it's the time to close a demo with our famous Pete Mitchell. Um, gets $1,000 and a really cool wool uh, trophy plaque. So head to overview.ai. That's overview spelled O-V-R-V-U-E.ai, and all the information will be there. So. That's a great idea. Thank you very it's much. like a new version of a hackathon. Like, yeah. wow, yeah. brilliant. I love that. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks Amazing. so much. Thank you. Thank you.